The top 9 keto mistakes that sabotage your results. Today we are going to learn about the top 9 keto mistakes that you may be making. The ketogenic diet is probably the hottest diet in the world right now. It is constantly in the news and is all the rage right now. Maybe you want to burn fat or you want to get ripped. You hear that it's great for building muscle. Maybe you even have hormone problems and you heard it is good at helping you regulate your hormones. For whatever reason you have for taking up the keto diet you should be aware of common mistakes people are making with this diet. There are 9 common mistakes you may be making that can throw you out of ketosis and probably sabotaging all your efforts. Dr. Nicholas Sudano from Total Health hears this every day in his practice. Someone will come in and say, I can't do the keto diet it's either too difficult or it just doesn't work. So let's dive into these 9 mistakes. Mistakes that you may be making and you are not even aware of. Mistakes that are completely sabotaging your efforts. Keto mistake 1 measuring your macros we find that most people are not measuring their macros. You need a measured percentage of fats, protein and carbs. A lot of people going into a keto diet just consume fat or will just eat cheese and bacon without actually tracking what they're eating. If you aren't measuring you really don't know if you're eating the correct portions. The ketogenic diet is about 70% fat, 25% protein and about 5% carbs. This may fly in the face of all you have been taught, that if you should eat this much fat it is not healthy for you. It's going to give you heart disease and it will clog your arteries, but that's not the truth. It is a myth that's been dispelled since the 1950s. So you can eat about 70% of your calories that you take in over the course of the day in the form of fats. More importantly, you have to be able to measure it. There is a great free app called My Plate Calorie Tracker. Once logged in you just put in your information and you can then start tracking your macros. By just scanning a barcode you will see if the food that you're going to eating meets these criteria. It displays the ratios of the food as a pie chart so that you can track your macros and making sure that you are getting the right amount of nutrients. If you're not tracking that on a daily basis you might have too many proteins or too much or not enough carbs. Keto mistake 2 measuring your ketones are you even measuring your ketones? Just because you are changing your diet or eating a lot more fat doesn't mean that you are getting into ketosis. Do you even know if you are in ketosis? The only way to know is to actually measure it and there are three different ways you can do this. You can check your urine by basically looking at acetyl acetate which is something that your body excretes out through the urine. The measure of ketones will form in the first couple of weeks of your diet. To do this you can use test strips which you pass through your urine as you urinate. You then compare it to the color chart provided which lets you know how much into ketosis you are. The ketone test strips are only good for the first couple of weeks as your body is not going to be excreting acetyl acetone after the first few weeks. The breath test is another good check. With this test you are measuring acetone which is that sweetness you taste on your breath. This test is done with a device that can be purchased online. We recommend the Ketonic Breath Analyzer. You may not want to try this as these keto breath testers can be a little expensive. Another drawback with these devices is not getting the measurements the same. Sometimes you may blow harder and sometimes less. Or sometimes it's more forceful and you are not really getting that nice even breath distribution to be able to know if you are getting a good quantitative measurement or analysis. For best results it is recommended doing a blood test. This does not mean going to the doctor or sending off blood samples to a lab as you can do this in the privacy of your own home. It's actually very simple with this monitoring system called Keto Mojo. The company has created an FDA approved meter and testing strip that is more affordable and accurate than others on the market. It's very quick and easy as you use the lancet that comes with the kit to prick your finger with a little needle. Then you place the measurement of blood right on the test strip that is attached to the Keto Mojo and then you take your measurement. It lets you know exactly what your ketone levels are. 
You can find a review of the Keto Mojo and a comparison with another top ketone meter, the Precision Extra meter here. Keto Mistake 3 Not Getting Enough Fat You're not getting enough fat. This is a high-fat diet with copious amounts of fat. You may be thinking that eating too much fat is crazy and outrageous. May times you have heard that you should avoid fat. The ketogenic is a high-fat diet that is healthy for your cell membranes and the mitochondria in your body. Mitochondria produces the energy currency of your cells through respiration, and helps to regulate cellular metabolism. You can find a talk about the benefits of the ketogenic diet by Dr. Nicholas Sudano here. In the end you want to get more fat and it's got to be high quality fat. You want the best kind of fats like your wild caught salmon, olives, avocados, nuts, olive oils and avocado oil. Another good product is beef tallow. You want to use the grass fed beef tallow so you get the right omega 6 to omega 3 ratio. This is basically lard which you can scoop out and cook your eggs in or other pan cooked foods. A company named Epic Provisions makes great grass fed tallow. You also have ghee which is really clarified butter taken to another level, giving it health benefits that make it healthier than butter. As ghee butter has a high burning point you can cook your meat with it. Ghee is an excellent choice for stir frying or deep frying. Basically it's a clarified butter and is considered a healthy fat in the Indian health practice, Ayurveda. You could use this as a spread on say coconut bread just like normal butter. So these are great ways to get high quality fats into your diet. Remember you need 70% fat to get you into the keto adaptive and keto therapeutic stage. 70% of your daily calories will be fat, so make sure the majority of what you are eating during the day is in some form of quality fat. Keto mistake 4 eating too much protein you are eating too much protein. If you are a bodybuilder you will be saying, I need to make sure I'm getting ample amounts of protein, I don't want muscle wasting. But the great thing about the ketogenic diet is that it is muscle sparing. You will actually spare the muscle, allowing you to use less protein than you normally use. Also when eating too much protein it puts you into something called gluconeogenesis. This means that the protein that you consume starts converting into sugar and glucose. This is going to kick you out of ketosis, so you want to avoid this. Another reason you want to limit your proteins is because when taking in too much protein you will be getting a lot more calories in a day. This occurs even if it comes out to 25% of your calories. So be careful with that and get your protein levels lower and trust that it is going to work. Keto Mistake 5 Bad Fats What are bad fats? You are probably thinking that all fats are the same. This is far from the truth as there are good fats and bad fats. The problem with a lot of people going on the ketogenic diet is they just start throwing cheese and fat like bacon into their diets. You have to be careful with this, not all fats are created equal. You need to be eating quality fats and you can find a good video here on the health benefits of saturated fats. This will give you an idea about the different types of fats, the saturated fats, the monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats. Plus what they are about and how beneficial they are. You don't want to be living on bacon as it is not a great fat. You can include bacon in your diet but you want to limit it and try to have more quality fats. Also stay away from vegetable oil and canola oil. These oils are not good as they oxidize and get rancid and typically they are higher in omega-6 fats which means that they are bad for you. They are highly inflammatory so you want to watch these vegetable oils. Forget what you see on those TV commercials as they brainwash you into thinking that these oils are good for you. Simply put, they are not. Keto mistake 6 Too much dairy you see this all the time and I was guilty of it myself. Arriving home you are thinking to yourself, I want to get a little go to snack. Next thing you know you are grabbing a piece of cheese to snack on. Dairy can cause health problems like inflammation and skin conditions such as eczema and acne. Too much dairy is known to cause congestion. You will know this when at times you eat too much cheese and start to get a lot of mucus production. 
Having too much dairy can cause sinusitis where you experience a post-nasal drip and mucus builds up in the back ear and you find yourself always clearing your throat. Irritable bowel, constipation and weight gain can also be brought on when having too much dairy. When having cheese or other dairy products at least make sure that it is grass-fed cheese and that it is raw. Those are going to be your best sources. Keto mistake 7 Too many carbs This should be easy for you to achieve. Your carbs are only around 5% of your total diet. First up you will find that fruits are too high in carbs. Fruits are like candy from nature and are high in sugar. You might be thinking that a piece of fruit is healthy as it comes in its own skin, has no label on it and is not processed, but you just need to be aware of the carbs in fruit. You can enjoy your fruit, but choose low sugar, nutrient-dense fruits such as berries which are a better source. Remember your vegetables are going to have carbohydrates in them also. The good thing about vegetables is that they are high in fiber making the total carb load on your body lower. You want to stay away from some of the starchy vegetables such as squash. The problem with these more pulpy vegetables that have a thicker skin or pulp to have a lot of starch in them. You should still be eating your vegetables but you want to reduce or eliminate your starchy vegetables. Your non-starchy vegetables are broccoli, kale, brussels sprouts and cabbage. You can find a good article and list of these vegetables that are a lot better for you and much lower in starch here. Keto mistake 8 Our gut health number 8 is a subject that we tend to forget about. This is our gut health which is important because part of the immune system is housed inside your gut. While on the keto diet we start to eliminate our vegetables and eat more fat such as cheese or butter, then have another slice of cheese or some bacon. The next thing you know is you have a lot of fat in your diet. In doing this you are not taking care of the microbiome inside the gut. The microbiome needs these high fiber vegetables so that it can protect you against germs and helps break down your food to release energy and produce vitamins. You need to have a lot of good vegetables in your diet, such as kale, broccoli, cauliflower or Swiss chard. You can also include things like kimchi, which is fermented vegetables made from cabbage or bok choy. The important thing is that you are getting the probiotics from the bacteria that forms in the fermenting process. You are also getting the prebiotics that acts as a form of dietary fiber and fertilizer for the good bacteria in your gut. You may not have heard of prebiotics, this is from the fermented vegetables such as cabbage or bok choy which the bacteria eats. If kimchi is something that you've never heard about check out this video on how to make it. You want to try and get both pre and probiotic to really get the best benefits. People don't get enough bone broth in their diet so you may want to add this in. Bone broth is taken from either chicken or beef where you simmer and boil the bones for a good 48 hours. After boiling the bone you end up with a lot of the bone marrow, amino acids, and minerals. This is a little different to your chicken or bone stock. You can make this yourself or buy it in any health food store. Be sure to get bone broth not bone stock. The great thing about bone broth is it's gut friendly. A lot of people today are suffering with leaky gut syndrome where the actual cells in the bacteria wall are separating. The foods that we eat can actually go through the intestinal wall as bacteria and toxins into the bloodstream. So a good bone broth will take care of your gut during the ketogenic diet. Number 9 Keto Mistake, Not Getting Enough Water The final mistake is not getting enough water. We see this with a lot people on the ketogenic diet. The first sign you get is feeling constipated. The reason behind this is that for every gram of carbohydrates, your body will hold about 4 grams of water. Because you are lowered your carbs you are going to start lowering how much water your body can hold. In some cases this is a good thing as your body will let go of some of the excess water that it has been holding. The problem we have is you are also losing some of the water your body needs. To help with this you can increase the salt in your diet. If you are concerned with high blood pressure you can use Himalayan salt or the Celtic sea salt. Sea salt in general is all good salts, but do stay away from the sodium chloride white table salt, that's what you don't want. 
The other salts have a high mineral count which will also help with your gut and you want to add more water into the diet. The old adage of about 8 8 ounce cups or glasses a day is something to go by, it's whatever works for you. We hope you found this information helpful. Please share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know if there is other information you would like to see here. This does not have to be just about the ketogenic diet, it can be on any subject about healthy eating and dieting.